Well, hello there, and I do hope you're all well, and I do hope you manage to get through this weekend, if you know what I mean. Well, Lee, let's watch Tory MP Sir Paul Beresford's. Oh, sorry, I couldn't help myself. And his epic fail, crazy reasons you could say for Brexit, and is he well stuck in the 70s? Well, what I mean is that before SP MP, Angus Brendan McNeil did his speech where he basically schooled all the rabid Brexit streamists in the House of Commons. Conservative MP Sir Paul Beresford oh, was talking about how angry he was in the 70s about when Britain ditched the Australians, you know, and uh, went in to join the European Union. And then he said something that sounded a bit dodgy. And watch the pause before he said the key word. I, when I go back to Australia or New Zealand, and I haven't been back to Australia for quite some time, but I have to, to New Zealand, I'm shocked at the streets full and the shops full of Asian vehicles and goods. The British cars, which in my youth filled the streets, are not there. And they're not there because of the tariffs that were put upon them. And we've got to return to that. I look forward to the return there. And it's not just on the streets, because I come from a farming background. When you go to the farms there, there aren't Land Rovers. They've got these Mitsubishis and other sort of things like that. Uh, he's going to sell me a car. <laughs> Tempting as it might be to sell you all my, fa my late father's old 1954 Morris Minor, which is still in my shed in Barra and the Hebrides. Um, I would just say that, you know, I think that's a worldwide phenomenon. Uh, because I remember in my youth Land Rovers being about, but I noticed the vehicles that my neighbours are driving now, the, the sort of the 4 by 4s and generally sort of Japanese, uh, Korean, Far Eastern. So I would tell them not to be too despairing. Uh, it's just maybe a vehicle choice globally. I, I'm sorry that the Honourable Gentleman. No, I don't know about you, but. That had only for a bit of racism in it, if I'm honest. That the feeling I got when I first uh, heard it. And I also got the feeling that Angus McNeil who asked him asked him to give way. Because I, I got the feeling he was feeling a little bit uncomfortable about which rabbit hole he was going down. And if I'm honest, I don't think he realised how racist he sound. Man, she's a Taurus, so what do you expect? But it, in a way, it was kind of a bit of a penny drop moment for me because I've seen one or two articles in the past about how these loons talked about a bygone era, you know, where we uh, go gallivanting around the world, you know, to countries like Australia and New Zealand for trade, trade deals, you know, that look exactly like us, i.e. a bit more white. <laughs> and, and I just thought, yeah, he said it, just con con conclusive proof. So, is he stuck in the past, in the 70s? Let me know. Did he sound a little bit racist to you? I don't know, I could, maybe I got it wrong, but that's the feeling I got. Also, thank you for all the birthday wishes. I'm 51 today. I know you might, you might find it very odd that I'm, uh, I'm looking that old. It's a tough paper around where I lived in. But anyway, I'm completely un humbled, and if I'm honest, you guys give me the best present I could have had anyway, you know. 10,000 subscribers on, on the couple of days before my birthday, so just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. And you who watched my very first live stream on Saturday, you know, sorry, it was not exactly uh, top-notch stuff, but, you know, I was just learning as I go, and... Uh, as that saying goes, you learn from your mistakes. And I will be doing one or two more. But the, from then on, now, I get, now I've got a better understanding what I, what I need to do. I'll be setting dates and times. So you will be able to put, plan to watch it. And uh, I'll let you know if you know what I mean. And I'm bragging on. So, But now I've got a better understanding of it. So seeing as it's my birthday when this video is made I won't, won't be doing any looking around for a recording I'm just going to be just relaxing and chilling out so there won't be one till probably about Wednesday so 
I shall leave the video here and uh, yes again thank you for the birthday wishes and uh, I shall bid you farewell and until the next time take care and uh, have a good day.